seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. Hey everyone, Jason here. Today I'm really excited to show you my modified version of the LEGO Saturn V rocket. I'm not going to talk too much about the model itself. There are plenty of reviews online, all universally praising this model for very good reason. It's big, it's beautiful, it's very well designed, and it's such a great representation of such an iconic vehicle. But all that being said, there is always room for improvement. And as soon as I started building it, I knew I wanted to add LEDs to the engines. And I also wanted to add a speaker to it. It was such an iconic period of time for space exploration when the Apollo missions were running. And there's so many great sound bites in the NASA archives that I really wanted to have this model on display and be able to just flick a switch seconds and, counting. and have some really awesome sound bites play. It is all powered by one of these, which is a PFX brick. So let's take a look at what I did. I was able to get all the electronic components into the first stage, which I was really happy about. And if I take off this strip of paneling, you'll be able to see them all. Now, normally what you would see if you did this are these quarter round panels in the internal structure, which I had to remove. I also had to remove some of the cross bracing in this section of the rocket, but the model is so well designed and well engineered that it even removing those doesn't affect the structural integrity of the model all that much. And here you can see a power functions battery box. And as you saw, removing these strips gives you access to these so you can easily turn it on and off. And I have a rechargeable one here so I can also recharge it if I need to. Here is the PFX brick. And again, I have the USB port exposed on it so that I can easily connect it to my computer to configure it. And here is an XL speaker, which obviously provides all the sound. For the thrusters, I have one LED in each of the thrusters and they are wired conveniently. Most of those pieces have holes in them, uh, which I can run the wire through. And the way the model is constructed, there's like an outer skin around the inner core and there's some convenient spacing between them. Um, which allows me to run the wires from the LEDs up to the PFX brick as well as the speaker up to the PFX brick. And to remove any of these components, all I need to do is remove this section of paneling and this section of paneling, which isn't all that difficult. So in the end, I didn't really have to modify all that much. And that is pretty much all there is to it. It ended up being a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Conveniently, there was enough space in stage one to house all the electronics so I didn't have to affect the modularity of the model. Before I go, I just want to give a huge thanks to Felix and Valerie who posted the original project on LEGO Ideas. Without them, this model would never have happened. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I will see you next time.